when you think of the 1968 Jets, the team that won the 69 Super Bowl, you'll remember right at the top of that list of stars, Don Maynard. Just to give you an idea of why he belongs here tonight, Maynard also got some time in with the Giants back in the 1958 season when they lost that overtime game. With the Jets in the early years of the AFL, Don used to team up with a fellow named Al Doro and became the great threat. But the cry from 1965 through the time he retired in 1973 was Namath to Maynard for nine years. By the time he took off the cleats, Don Maynard at that time was the all-time pro football leader in receptions, in yardage, and he was the second leading touchdown maker in history. Don Maynard still looks the same, folks. You'll know it with the long sideburns. He, he says he's from Colorado City, Texas. With that draw of hair, his, it's really near Abilene, if you want to know exactly where Don's from. Let us welcome Don Maynard to the podium. I noticed that says Donald. My mom would be proud of that. <laughs> Most mothers are. You know, not many times have I ever been anywhere that they've played the national anthem twice the same night. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the video was great, and I, I think Mary O'Dowd did a great job. A lot of times in the past, there's always been these comments about getting high. I used to stand on the sideline and I sang the Star Spangled Banner. I really didn't matter whether I was on key or not. I just cranked it out because that really meant a lot to me. I kind of told myself I wouldn't get this way, but sometimes you just can't help it. I've played in a lot of games and we all get butterflies and it's great to play with these great sports that's been open to us here in the country and it's great to be up here with all the different guys in the different fields of sports that they're in. I was super fortunate to have played on three New York teams, the Giants a year and then later the Titans and then later the Jets. It's great to have played against a great number of great, great ball players and kept up with a lot of great other ball players. One name you just mentioned was a great guy that kind of took me in as a rookie. Emlyn Tennell. And he used to tell me as I run down the field as a rookie with the Giants, he said, you never beat me deep. And I could always hear him coming, but because he, he always had a little, I don't know what it was, but he always kind of said, and I never did beat him deep. I sat out there on the outside, and I thought I had a five-yard head start running for that go pattern, and when the ball got there, so from a player's standpoint that kind of was from South Brooklyn, you know, south 2,000 miles, to come to New York and to be indoctrinated into the game of pro football among some of the greatest people in the world as a teammates, Kyle Rote, Frank Gifford, Andy Robustelli, Emlyn Tennell, and just on and on. And then to play as a rookie under Tom Landry and Vince Lombardi it was really great. And then also to learn a little bit about all the sports and news media people that you learn coming to New York. It's great to be part of the inductees and I'll cherish naturally as long as I live. I can't talk five minutes. I could go on for 25 or 30, but, but uh, I just want to say something in regards to the situation overseas and what goes on in life. I feel we live twice today while we're living and then someday we're going to live again. And you got a choice there. But as we go from now on, there's a little word if I may leave with you in my appreciation also for this great honor. The word love. You can write it 24 different ways. Backwards, forwards, any way you want to. You only get one word out of it. 
it's what we need to do. Tell mom and dad, tell our sons and daughters, and, and pass it on to our great friends. I love New York. I had the privilege of playing in the greatest place in the world. Hey, thank you. Don, thank you for your remarks and for your great performances through the years.